T-minus one minute and counting. T-minus 50 seconds. We're transferring to orbiter internal power at this time. Discovery is now running off its three onboard fuel cells. Coming up on a go for auto sequence start in 10 seconds. And we have a go for auto sequence start. Discovery's onboard computers have primary control of all the vehicle's critical functions. T minus 22 seconds. T minus 15 seconds and counting. 10 seconds. We have a go for main engine start. 6, 4, 3, 2, 1. We have booster ignition and liftoff of the Space Shuttle Discovery lighting up the nighttime sky as we continue building the International Space Station. Space Station. Speed a thousand miles an hour, altitude one mile, downrange four and a half miles from the Kennedy Space Center already. Three good engines, starting back to two thirds of the rate of thrust. Passing the air at maximum dynamic pressure, about to go supersonic. View from the external tank camera. Discovery Houston, go at throttle up. Go at throttle up. All systems remain in go for Discovery. Altitude eight miles. Speed seventeen hundred miles an hour. Downrange ten miles from Kennedy Space Center. Since launch, Discovery already consumed more than two and a quarter million pounds of propellant. It now weighs less than half that it did at liftoff. Altitude 18 miles. Speed 3,000 miles an hour. Already 22 miles northeast of Kennedy Space Center. Three good engines, three good auxiliary power units, three good fuel cells. Boost drops are confirmed. Clean separation of the two solid rockets. Discovery's three engines now powering the second stage. Discovery's orbital maneuvering system engines firing now to assist the climb into orbit. They'll fire for about a minute and 37 seconds. Discovery Houston, two engine Maroon. Two engine Maroon. That call means Discovery can perform a transatlantic oceanic land landing at Maroon, Spain. If